All right, good morning and welcome to day two of math. As you can see, I'm on my teacher web page. I'm going to scroll down. I am going to go to Toy Theater. Now, today's math activity is a subtraction activity where you're solving for the number they're taking away. They also give you a number line. I am going to use, yesterday I had to use the dice for addition. Today we are going to use the 10 frame, the two colored counter 10 frame. So I'm gonna click. All right. If you do not have the activity page, you can look at the um, subtraction problem that they gave you, write the numbers on a piece of paper like this, eight minus blank equals five. And then you're just going to write your answer right on the line. So you can do it either or. We'll do the first one together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag the colored counter up to the 10 frame. Do you remember why this is called a 10 frame? Because there are 10 spaces, very good. So if the whole 10 frame was filled up, I know that there's 10, but do I need 10? The first problem starts with eight. So I'm gonna click and drag and then drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so the problem says eight minus blank equals five. So on the activity page, I can circle eight. And I can jump back until I get to five and see how many times that I had to jump. If you don't have the page, what you can do is take them away out of the 10 frame until you have five. So let's see if I take one away, do I have five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I need to take another one away. If I take two away, do I have five? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. If I take three away, do I have five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, so eight minus three equals five. I can also draw a picture to show and to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cross off three. One, two, three. And how many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. So I can check my work. I can also use my fingers. And if you have the activity page, you can jump back to five and see how many times you had to jump. So I'm gonna practice it on mine. Remember, when you're subtracting, you jump backwards. In order to get to five, I had to jump back one, two, three times. So eight minus three is equal to five. So there, I did the first problem with you. You'll just have to do the rest. If you need to start over, you just need to uh, hit the trash. Are you sure you want to clear the canvas? Yes. Let me see if I go back to my teacher webpage, go to the other math resource. Manipulatives. Look, there you go. A number line. So you can use your finger. Let's see, we're going to start zero and end at 10. Go. There we go. So I made my number line smaller. I can use my finger by starting at eight, jumping back to five, one, two, three, and I land on five. So you can use either or the websites as long as you are checking your work and that's all I have today for math, and I will talk to you later.